I got the recapping completed on the little Hoffman Trans Solo. And the audio definitely has a punch now. I've got to sing a part. Let me go ahead and do an alignment on it and get it back in the case. And then I want to check the uh, original solar. Check out the date on the solar cell 10, 9, and 58. It's pretty cool for that uh, period of time. You hook up a meter to this thing and uh, see what kind of voltage we get out of it under some uh, incandescent lighting. Got the solar uh, cell hooked up and uh, you can see I'm moving it closer to an incandescent bulb and uh, you can see it's working uh, perfect. So I'm north of my uh, 4 volts DC. Very cool to still have this thing uh, working and uh, dated back to uh, 1958. Let me get the receiver back together. We'll flip the switch over into the uh, solar mode and uh, take it for a test spin. Uh, you know, the, uh, groups of uh, professionals to book this Got the unit thing. playing on uh, the solar field, uh, you know, booking so, right. um, It's not necessarily... Um, um, switch it over here to battery. Uh, from a financial standpoint. I would be hosting, I would have birthday parties there, man. Uh, if we never, if, if the city of Charlotte never used it, like if I was uh, like a, a city councilman, oh, I'm going to bring my kid's birthday party so, there. Uh, you can see it's uh, playing well. Let me guys show you how I uh, took care of the battery issue. Not having much room to work with, I went back with a uh, cylindrical battery holder or a, a torch type design. Holds three AAA batteries. And uh, you can see it here. And then I had to do some modifications and cut that top piece off where you see my ruler to make it fit. And soldered a positive connection onto that point and was able to butt the uh, negative post up against the existing uh, negative connection on the holder. So that's it, and uh, we're good to go at about four and a half volts. Let's switch it to battery. So it's uh, doing really well. Back to solar. <laughs> 